When recovering refrigerant, there are three basic methods, liquid, vapor, and push-pull. Let's talk briefly about when you would use each method, and then we'll walk through each of them step by step. In the liquid recovery method, you are able to transfer refrigerant while still in the liquid state. This method is especially good for transferring refrigerant from one container to another. Of the three recovery methods, liquid recovery is the fastest. So, why wouldn't you use it? Because it's simply not possible with all HVAC systems. In those cases, you'll have to use the vapor recovery method. Vapor recovery is slower than liquid recovery, but also the most common method. It simply transfers the refrigerant in the vapor state. The process for liquid recovery and vapor recovery are very similar. The only differences are the state of the refrigerant and some unit settings. Finally, there's the push-pull method of recovery. Push-pull quickly removes liquid refrigerant, but it's a two-step process. Once all the liquid is removed in the first step, you have to change hose connections to recover the vapor. Generally speaking, you'd only use the push-pull method if you have more than 10 pounds of refrigerant in the system. Push-pull is not recommended if the system is a heat pump or is one with a reversing valve. Nor would you use it if the system won't allow a solid column of liquid to form, or if the system has an accumulator.